Uh, hello and welcome back to Racco Vita in Romania. Now, I started uh, this map the other day and I'm, I am quite impressive here. It is kind of a, a bolt standard straightforward map. It is available on the in-game mud hub or on the official farming simulator website. So we're just getting our last of our fields harvested. This is the one with the funny looking crop, it's wheat. It does look a bit, a bit odd. Uh, we've got Matey Boy down in field 15, which is that big long field. He's ploughing that one up. I'm just going to do a little strip left on this one now. And this field here is also ours, field 18, and that is all ploughed up and ready to be seeded. The only issue is that I need to get a smaller tractor and some cedar, or well, some tools cultivators, ploughs and things. Well, I've got a plough and I'm using it, but cultivator, cedar, fertiliser. Yep, so I need all of that, all that stuff, all that good stuff. So, let's uh, get this all done. Just like that. And just get this bit done like this, and just turn the harvester off. And there is one slight thing I had, and I've changed the header a little bit for a better one. So you watch if I unfold the header, you see the wheels come down, and a little towing stick comes out. If you can see just here, which the other one didn't have, but this is actually a proper New Holland harvester head. And so I went and got it, so I swapped out that other one with no tail tail uh, t trailer hip sting on it. And I uh, traded it in for this one. And also the trailer itself I got rid of as well, because that, that was what I was having problems with. Because most of the harbors, if you've got a small header, you can just drive down the road with a header attached or too big, and you can normally just do this. There you go, look at that, look. Anyway, so we need to... We need to um, empty the harvest out with uh, nearly 17,000 litres of wheat. There's our truck, oh no, our truck just in our farm there. Maybe we could just drive around and put it in there, shall we do that? We've not really been around the farm, we've not really had a good proper look around this map really. I do like to venture out and have a look as we go along though, so we will we will find things. So that's everything harvested. I think we're all right for the harvesting. I think we can check this away. Let's uh, see if we can get this in this chipper. Just like so. There we go. And there's our silo just over there. Um, where, where's the silo gone? Just here. And we've also got our info display because we don't have one built in. So soybeans, we've got 39,000, that's what we just harvested in wheat air uh, field 15. And wheat, we have 5,192, but we will be stocking that up with another nearly 17,000. So let's get in the truck and start her up. And let's put this in the silo. Let's uh, do a bigger turnaround. And there's our house. Quite a nice looking house. Just like so. Try lifts up in the air, but hey ho. There we go. So that's that all done. I reckon we just have to harvest her. Maybe we just have to harvest her in that little little place just in there. And we'll put the truck just along the side. So what do we own so far? We own our little pickup. We own this truck and trailer. We own the harvester. Oh, and we own the tractor and the plough as well, don't we? That's working away. Um, let's get in this. I wonder if that, is that a double-sided door, this... Um, oh, that's pretty gutting, isn't it? Although, reversing this trailer, 
Looks like it could be a, a big job to reverse this trailer. We'll give it a whirl. Let's get the pipe in. Let's see if we can get that trailer and the harvester in that garage. I don't think we can. I think, I think this is going to be a bit of a struggle. Oh, we're going to give it a, a whiz. So let's see if we can get it. No, see that half is going to go everywhere in it. A header. Okay, well that's a bad idea. So let's um. Now I'm going to be stuck in here. Now I don't know. Can't get out. <laughs> That's always a way, isn't it? Uh, slowly reverse, it might work. Yeah. Well, it's not touching the wall. Alright, well, it wasn't too bad. So let's, uh Why can we park this after up then? We can just park it along the side of the wall there, can't we? Let's do that. So, let's get that. Let's get a little tracked up. And we're going to need a picker up to pick all this straw up. And that straw is going to be in handy for some animals. Uh, when you get this map, it does start off with quite a few animals, to be honest with you. I think you get um, quite a bit to start off with. But I sold them all. I wanted to start with just the jeep. The jeep, the pickup. There we go, we'll just park the harvester up here. It's not going to do no harm, is it? Should we turn the engine off so we get a diesel? Bob's your uncle. Alright, let's get our pickup in. How do you shut the gate? Oh, yeah, right. Shut the gate, make sure no one's still with our stuff. Let's whiz down the shop and see. What medium sized tractor we can get with a uh, maybe a loading wagon and a cedar? And we've still got to get that field ploughed. I don't normally use pickups and cars and things in this game too much. But I don't mind driving this, it's pretty smart. I quite like the look at this little uh, Mitsubishi. Hilux? Was it a Toyota? Not a Mitsubishi, it's a Hilux, isn't it? And we're on the brakes. There we go, we take that. Now, yeah, I like these little grain lorries. There seems to be a lot of little grain lorries floating up and down. There's either grain lorries or sand, cement. Alright, let's have a look, see what tractor and loading wagon we can get. Now, I think we only need a, lo a little loading wagon, so I don't think we need to go out all out and get the, the biggest power ball we can find. Um, so, let's have a look in the old shoppy and see what we can buy. So, we need a small tractor, but we need a, a loading wagon and a cedar. And a fertilizer, that's what we need more than anything else at this moment. Loading wagon. 68 grand. And this one holds 34,000 litres, that's not too bad. Uh, 120 horsepower. Yeah, that's not too bad. So we'll get one of those. Just like that. It's only Cooper. And we need a tractor. That's going to be able to pull that. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking about getting a John Deere. So we've got a 9R and an 8R. The 8R costs more than the 9R. I think I might go for this. That's got 203, 180 gram, John Deere, Bush, front loader attacher. Yeah, we'll get one just in case. Attachers. Front linkage standard. Uh, not sure about that. Rear twin, narrow tyres standard. Yeah, we'll go standard. Bob's your uncle. Sweet as a peanut, as I say. Okay, so um, let's jump out of the old 
Copy, copy. And there's our tractor. Oh, not bad for a John Deere, eh? John Deere 7430 Premium. Okay, let's um, start this bad boy up. Actually, we can probably get a cedar back on this. Maybe this can be towed on the back of the pickup. Let's try that. Let's see if the pickup will take that trailer. I don't know I'll be able to use it, but it may well. No, this is out. And. Because if this tows it, I can get a cedar and take the cedar back. And possibly even some kind of fertiliser as well. Because we need to get fertiliser. I wonder what sort of state I've got fertiliser on. I'll have a look in a minute. Oh, beautiful. So that's going to take the trailer down, so that's that done. So we can get him out. Down here, ready. We'll be ready for the follow me. We'll be the leading vehicle. Uh, yeah, we can just go straight out here, can we? Yeah, that's good. Good, good, good. Alright, now we need a cedar and a fertiliser. So, I think a good fertiliser to start off with is um, the one I normally start off with is this. No, I don't know what sort of fertiliser I've got back at base. I'm hoping I ain't got a. Um, We're going to have to buy some fertiliser to go in it anyway. Okay, well that's not a major issue. This is some seed bags and fertiliser bags at, at camp, but I don't remember seeing them. And a cedar. So a sewing machine. You could probably get one that would do... Uh, fertiliser as well. So he was doing fertiliser, we could probably do some canola. Yeah, let's get this one here then. Looks pretty good. What sort of width is it? Nine meters. That's pretty, you know, not too bad a size. That's nine meters as well. But uh, this one, I like the look of this. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's um, have a look what we got down here. We've got some John Deere stuff. Oh, that's 12 metres, that's 12 metres, 13 metres, oh dear, there's some big ones in there. What's that one, 6 metres, probably a bit too small. That's 8 metres, that fertilises, and does all that. What sort of plough do we have? Is that a Porsche, is it? I do you believe it says Porsche there? Hmm. Choices, choices, choices. What's this one? 18 metres. Oh, they've got a chunky size thing, did not they? What's that one? 22. Oh, we've got this one here. 96 grand again. One oh, does sugar beet, potatoes, corn, sunflower, plus all the regular bit. Oh, we'll get that bad boy. And we'll probably get this in. Uh, does that look like a John Deere green? Uh, we'll soon find out, and it doesn't matter if it's off green. Okay, so let's um, get back to here. I don't think it's too too far off. I think the green might be a bit light for the John Deere green, but hey, hey, hey. It's not a mega million miles away, is it? I 
Um, let's pick up that fertilizer first. We can pick the fertilizer up at the front. I'm just hoping we ain't got to get pallets of seed and fertilizer. And then we've got to come up with a flatbed and take it all back to the farm if we do. That's not the conventional way to hold a fertilizer box, but we're only getting it back to the farm, aren't we? So we're not doing nothing too drastic. What's the vision like? Or <laughs> that doesn't matter because he's going to be following the truck. So we've got a little John Deere and a horse deer cedar horse deer <laughs> horse deer okay so let's put follow me on uh, 25 I think we should do it plenty let's get in here and make sure there's no traffic coming so we can even look in here a bit um, there's a, there's a truck coming that way and a truck coming that way because I want to get out a bit more than I'll a couple of trucks coming minibus alright let's uh, get these bad boys up to the farm so we've got a big tractor and a little tractor big tractor being a new Holland and a little one being a John Deere So that's all good stuff. Uh, John Deere is following. Which is all good. And on that little field, uh, 15, 16 or 18, whatever it is, I can't remember what number the field is. It'll take me a little while to get used to what numbers my fields are. I know number 15 is that big long one that's being ploughed at the moment. Come on, speedy, speedy. Oh, hooker. Look what she's waiting for. Yeah, we're just up here. So we'll get the loading wagon. Um, we've only got the one tractor, so I really could have done with another tractor, really, can I? And then we can pick up get a cultivator. So I think that we'll go back to the shop, we can get a cultivator. I think we've got three stage seeding on, so let's have a look at our menu just a quick minute, see if we've got three stage, we have got three stage. Uh, we've got plowing on, we've got that on, everything's normal, this is off, that's off, yeah, everything's good there, which is what we like. I know if you've been watching my PV Rivers, I've only got one fertilizer state on, but that's simply because there's so much to do right now. I don't want to be traipsing over my fields three times. So, this one's going to come up here. Uh, switch the engine off. Let's go and turn the follow me off. Uh, we're holding up the traffic. Let's turn the follow me off. Let's turn the right indicator on. And what we'll do, we'll quickly seed. Well, we can't quickly seed because we ain't got no seed. Now, do we have anything in here? I don't remember seeing anything in the farm. Which is a bit worrying. Um, so I'll go a bit more. Let's keep the button clicked. There we go. Alright, let's have a look. There's got to be somewhere to fill these bad boys up with seed and fertilizer, surely. Nothing. Nothing. What's all this stuff here? Look. So this is stuff here. What's this? This could be fertilizer. And this looks like seed. Excellent. Well, we've got what we need, so it's just here. Beautiful. Um, so what I want to do then is drop this off just here because we've got three fertilizer states on so we're going to have to 
fertilise, then seed and fertilise at the same time. And then put, give it another quick fertilise over afterwards. And I don't know how much this fertiliser is going to take on that big field. The last thing I want to do is drive all the way back up here. So fill it with fertiliser. That would be a pain, wouldn't it? Oh no, we're not even filling up. Ah, right, there we go. It's liquid fertiliser. So the bags are solid fertiliser. And the IBCs, I do believe we call them over here in the UK. They're for liquid fertiliser. So it's quite a nice relaxing map. It's just a traditional farming simulator map. All your standard crops, fields, your animals. So that is all that cost to me. So we've got, what, 4,000 litres? And how much did that cost me? Six, six thousand seven hundred fertilizer plus. Oh, that's a chunk of cash, isn't it? That is a chunk of cash. That'll be worth it in the end. So we've got this cloud. We're going to give it a fertilizer and a seed. Alright, oh, let's see how this John Deere gets on the fertilizer then, eh? Um, let's just switch it on and see what happens. Zoom out a bit so we can see what's going on. Not doing too bad, 11 miles an hour. I don't think there's much speed on the in game fertilizer spreader. It is what it is. Probably a bit hasty because I bet you I've got some fertilizer mods in there that have done a better job. Kicking myself. Think there's something better. Mm -hmm. uh, three passes, I think we should get this done in. now that I've done that. Missed a little bit there. Ah. Not to worry, not to worry. I'm going to just miss the edge a little bit. Not to worry, not to worry. Yeah, so we're doing a not too bad a job. Old John Deere. Jack of help. Help of Jackie has completed her task. So Jackie must have done that field down the bottom. So we can come back up and get ready to do this field just here. Once I've picked up all the straw. Alright, so that's that done. I'll just park up here because we're going to fertilise this for shortly. Uh, turn it off, let's get out. Got some whiz over here. Uh, that's confusing me a bit. I need to come back over here now and drag this thing around with me. Uh, let's drop the wagon down. Part of this up just here, and then get into our. Let's turn the engine off. Keep forgetting to turn the engine off. It's not like me. Uh, let's get into the John Deere. Let's uh, start it up. Let's just uh, drop that off, and let's go and do some straw picking up. Here. This will probably be good for the animals or. It will be good for the animals, there's nothing else I think we use a straw for on, 
a standard map. Bedding and making some TMR. Alright, there's a... Uh, Start picking this up, and then we've got to get the big boy down and start ploughing it. But we'll fertilise it in a minute as well, so it's all fertilised. And we don't have to worry about that until we get it seeded. Let's see if we can pick that little bit, little bit of straw up just there. Super. Yeah, I'm just wondering if the silo will take this drawings. It has got a bolt standard silo and standard crops in. Mm, might take part, I can't remember. We'll have a look when this thing fills up. This probably won't be long. Let's um, oh yeah, I always miss that, miss out little bits. You don't need to pick up every single little tiny bit. You can if you want, if you're uh, OCD. But uh, I'll pick up the majority. You missed a bit on the old um, harvest in there. Oh, he's full. Right, let's see if we can dump this in the silo. If not, we've got one a place to dump all our straw. Hmm. And we don't have seasons on, so we don't have to worry about it going all rotten and everything. Just across. Let's just see if we can tip it in here. Ah, of course we can. So what we've got in here now? Um, I've had straw in here already, but it looks a bit quite a lot. Thirty-nine thousand. So we'll have had about four thousand in there. Yeah, I do like the map. It's quite um, it's nice looking actually. I think it's quite well built. Plenty of traffic on there. Lots of traffic. I um, know where I'm going now. Confused.com everywhere. Um, well, I was cleaning a bit up down here, weren't I? That's right. Yeah, let's see, we got to this big hill. Alright, I think we need to go and get our plow back and we've got no straw down there to pick up so we're all good there and I think I can't remember what we was growing in that field down there we've got to saw your beans I believe look at that lovely Right, let's um let's get this back to base. So let's fold him up, wire up. What was the best way? Let's stick our beacons on. Look at that, beautiful. That does look good, doesn't it? Yeah, some monster. Monster. Alright, let's get this back to farm anyway. Oh, I was going to fertilise that field, weren't I? It doesn't matter, I'll fertilise it afterwards. 
I mean, you get three stages of fertilizing. I don't think it really matters when you fertilize. I normally like to, you know, plow, cult, um, either plow or cultivate, fertilize, and then get a fertilizer with the seeder at the same time, and then do another one on the first stage of the growth. So when the crop sprouts out under the ground, you can just uh, quickly run over it with the fertilizer. It's a quick and easy job, it's not a painstaking job. Um, down here. I'm here. Which is the best way now? The thing is, around here, wiggle round. Wriggle, wriggle. Beautiful. That's the BG8. Just it bolts down the BGA, nothing spectacular there. Um, really, I'm not even going the right way, am I? I'm all over the shop. Let's have a look where we are. Oh, yeah, just turn right at the bottom here. Well, that's where we sell hay, don't it? Well, we can just sell the hay there. What we don't need, we can sell. There's our silos. I can see the silos. Everything looking beautiful. This tractor is nice. Place for our placeables. So we can get some placeables going in there. Some seed masters. Fuel making. Alright, let's... Uh, Get this all prepped into here. So it's not the wings. And we can get a worker on it, couldn't we? Beautiful. Means we've got to get cracking. Helper Kenzie is blocked by an object. Alright. Let's uh, get the load. Oh, the loading wagon was already down. Let's get it switched on then. Beacons. How much space does this thing need to turn around? Look, where's he going? Excuse me, mate, where are you going? Where's Kenzie going? Is he on drugs? Drink driving? Going back down the beginning again, is he? What are you doing that for? What is he doing? Is he reversing all the way back up to here? Seriously? You're doing this the hardest way possible? This comes at the top, turn around and come back down again. Who is it? It's a woman. Hmm. Oh well. Whatever floats a boat, whatever makes her happy, long she gets the job done, isn't it? That's the main thing. Get a move on because she'll catch me up with this thing. I ain't got a lot more to pick up, only a little bit more. Oh, now we're nearly full. Yeah, so we'll get these fields prepped, all ploughed, and we'll be ready to be seeded. We'll decide what we're going to seed. I 
do like this John Deere though. I do hear that John Deere is going to be in Farming Simulator 19, which is going to be good. So that will be interesting. Apparently that news has not long come out. So let's hope that's true. I do believe it is. A lot of people are raving on about it. So what is this woman doing? Going to write me like the cow. Like I said, when she gets the job done, paying her the same amount of wages, if she wants to waste my diesel, she can pay for it. Right. I think I might well call this an episode here. What we'll do, we'll just get this finished off. So when we come back, we'll have a three freshly ploughed, freshly ploughed fields. The little one is fertilised. We'll get these other ones all done as well, and then we'll decide what we're going to plant. So I hope you enjoyed watching, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.